it's Robin here with Natman and Robin, and I am coming to you with a haul from Walmart. Yes, it is mid-January. I believe it is January 17th. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so happy MLK Day. And I just wanted to acknowledge the elephant in the room back here of all the Christmas decorations. So in our house, um, I have to keep Matt from putting up Christmas decorations until Halloween. We, I, I have gotten him to hold off until the day after Halloween. So, um, and then I have to beg him for us to be able to put them away before Valentine's Day. So in our house, Christmas is up from Halloween to Valentine's Day, and it's just a merriment in the house, and that's the way we roll. So, um, stay cozy with us for a few more weeks with the Christmas decorations. I mean, it's Operation Christmas Child anyway, so it kind of keeps us in the spirit, right? Oddly enough, I do have some things in this haul today. It is a mini haul. Um, and some of them are accidental Christmas clearance, <laughs> meaning that I accidentally found them without looking uh, for them specifically. I just went to Walmart today. Um, I had to pick up some things for work and I needed some things for ourselves. So of course, anytime I'm there, I go to a few specific areas looking for clearance items or unmarked clearance is really what I was looking for. And I just happened to find some. Um, the very first thing was this bag, um, which I thought was really pretty. The color is not showing up very well. It is um, a purple um, canvas bag, and it does have this really pretty flower on the top. And it was in the beauty section, kind of sitting all by itself. And I remembered watching, um, I believe, Jessica from Foothill Family. She hauled several of these types of items, um, gift bags and gift sets, I guess is a better way to put it. And I just thought this guy looked interesting sitting there all by himself. So I scanned him. Here is the barcode in case you want to do the same. And it rang up for $1.50. Um, I know exactly what bag I want to put this, exactly what box I want to put this bag in. It will serve as a very sturdy, great pencil bag for this uh, lovely girl. It will be for a teen, the teen box, the 10 to 14 box. But in here, it has some really great stuff that I'm excited to use for myself. Um, there is a mirror, which I could include the mirror maybe. It does. It's not um, a compact mirror, so it probably can't. So here's a little purse mirror. And there is this hyaluronic uh, acid and green tea hydrating day cream. I can't believe I got all of this for $1.50. It looks great. I am excited. And then it also comes with this microderm abrasion scrub. <laughs> Bell is outside. And the last thing in here is this... Uh, vitamin C concentrated serum with hyaluronic acid and it has a use by 3 2024 so these items are perfectly fine and great to be using right now and this is going to make a, a great pencil bag for that girl I was so excited it does have um, a lining in it as well so much better quality than the pencil bags you can get say at like Dollar Tree and I got it for $1.50 with all of those great goodies in it. The next couple of things I got were not marked on clearance. So one of them, I'll just tell you the little story, was also in the beauty section. Um, I have already in my little Operation Christmas Child area broken them down and readied them to go into boxes, but it was lip smackers chapstick there were in packages i think i think there were seven or eight per package and um it was a pastel package but around so all of the like chapsticks are lined up like this and around all the chapsticks there's like pastel christmas trees and candy canes and ornaments but it didn't look christmas because it was like in purples and blues and greens in a pastel color 
but if you looked close, all of the chapsticks were like candy cane and gingerbread and peppermint and things like that. So um, I found those and then I found this in the regular book section where all of the novels are kept over where they keep um, books that adults would read, chapter books. And there was this one sitting there next to like a sea life and animals one by the same person. Um, and they were, they on here it says 1895, <coughs> but it was ringing up for 1599, so or 1499. So I took this and the um, lip smackers, which were ringing up at 997, and I took them to the customer service area, and I was like, hey. Um, I think maybe these are supposed to be on Christmas clearance, and if they are, I would like to purchase them. So they, um, the two associates that were back there looked at each other, and they're like, yeah, I think they are. So I got these, I got two of these for $1.50, and I got six of those lip smackers with seven chapsticks in them each for 97 cents and I was so excited for that. Um, I wish I had kept one to show you but I came home and tore into them and readied them for shoe boxes right away. Now if you noticed this coloring book is very thick. It's very big. Um, it would be difficult to fit inside of a box no matter how you pack it. It's just not going to be um, convenient. Also, the pages are, it's very thick, and then the individual pages are more like like cardstock. They're not flimsy. Um, it is an adult style coloring book on one side and a Christmas quote on the other. So what I am planning to do with these, I've already pulled one out to show you, is I'm going to take them out of the book and uh, maybe put one or two in each pencil pack. So they will have this very sturdy piece of paper to color. And on this side is a quote about Christmas. Um, and I will just fold them up and put them in the pencil packs. You know, um, I, I'm considering whether I'm going to tear each one of them out. Um, it's no big deal. It just takes time and it kind of shreds a little um, or I might be able to take them to FedEx Kinko's and they can cut off the spine for me uh, but that costs money so I don't know I think it's just a couple dollars to have it done I might end up doing that um, just for convenience sake because taking this one page out took me quite a while Oof. we'll see um, if I'm lazy and I want to just throw money at it or if I turn it into a little craft in my head and make Christmas crafts with it. The next thing I found that was Christmas related was actually in the toy section and I just accidentally found it kind of going up and down the aisles looking. I actually was looking for regular clearance items. Um, I did see several Barbie dolls are already going on clearance. They're still a little pricey for me. Um, the Barbie dolls that normally ring up like $9 were already on sale for like 7 or 6 um, And so we just need to be on the lookout. I saw, what else did I see? There were several Legos that were going on clearance, but they were still up in the like $40 range, which is way too high for me. Um, yeah, Barbies and Legos is what I saw a lot of. And um, even some figurines <clears throat> in the boy section, but they were still a little too pricey for me, also up in the 7 and $8 range. So we just need to keep watching because I bet Walmart will hit its toy clearance soon, um, getting ready for the spring shipments coming in with all of the new 2022 toys. So anyway, in the toy section when I was looking for their regular clearance, I saw this. <clears throat> just kind of laying there on its own and I saw this little loop up here and I thought that looks like an ornament I'm gonna scan it not paying attention not looking at anything I just scanned it and it immediately popped up 50 cents so I was like yep it's Christmas but if I had taken two seconds to look at it on here it does say um, holiday and then on the back 
<coughs> is more of that Christmas, you know, theming. So I think this is great. <coughs> I'm also glad that it is with markers because a lot of times this stuff is with paint and you just have to leave out the paint and send them these blanks. But um, this will get to go in exactly as it is. So great item for 50 cents. Be on the lookout. They're still out there, those hidden gems. The last Christmas thing that I found, I found in the jewelry section, which again, I was going to just check out the actual clearance section of jewelry. And behind one of the regular items, I saw this little corner of red peeking out and I was like, there's no other packaging over here that's red. I bet it's Christmas. And when I pulled it out, sure enough, it said holiday time on it and there were these two adorable angels uh, originally $5, I got this for 50 cents. And I'm, I bet that this is the very last Christmas clearance thing that I find this year. I hope that you guys are lucky and you're still finding those hidden things. Um, I have been watching on Facebook and seeing what um, all of you guys are doing in the different Operation Christmas Child groups I'm in. And I'm seeing a lot of chatter, people talking to their local associates and managers and friends that work in retail. And <clears throat> we are hearing that Michaels is still receiving Christmas shipments um, and fall shipments even, and that they have decided as a company to send those directly to clearance. So um, be on the lookout for those. And then <laughs> Bella just came in from outside. <laughs> And then Walmart Associates, and now this is just, um, you know, hearsay, I guess. Friends of friends telling us, each other on Facebook that Walmart might be planning on having a Christmas in July sale with shipments that they get in past this point. I don't think that they are planning on putting any new shipments directly to their 90% off clearance. So um, maybe we'll get another opportunity at this Christmas clearance in July, hopefully. So while I was at the jewelry section and I found these little angels, I also found some other jewelry. Um, well, there was lots there, but most of it was still too um, high for what I like to pay. But I did find these two items, a pink set of bracelets and a purple and gold set of bracelets. And the way that I was able to easily identify these is because of the initials up here on top. This one is an L, and if you can see, there's a little heart right here that has an L on it, and it's purple. And this one was a J, and it has the heart on it here that is the J. Let me know in the comments below if I should send them just like this because they are a beautiful set or if I should take off the charm and then it would look like this. So, um, here, let me know. Like, if I should leave it with the charm or send it without. I, I am torn because I don't want someone to get this if their name, like if my name is Robin and I get this and it's an L. Um, but you know what, maybe, maybe God knows who wants this and needs this and it's gonna go to a Linda, or this one's gonna go to a Jessica. Um, you know, who knows what these little girls' names are. What do you think is the best thing to do? Because I want to do what will bless the child the most, but I need your advice. Um, anyway, they were originally $6.92, and they rang up for $1.50, and that is definitely within my price range, so I picked both of them up. The last things that were in the jewelry section are two lanyards. There was this pink one and this blue one. Um, this pink one has little smiley faces in the side of the sunshine. And it says, hello, hello, hello. They both have these extendable, um, I, I wanna say lanyards, but the whole thing is a lanyard. So it does have this extension piece down here. Um, and it says, hello, sunshine. And um, there were several lanyards of this style in the clearance area. And they were clearancing it 
random prices. Like not um, not every design, every single design had a different clearance price. That's what I was trying to say. Um, and so these ones were originally $4.88 and they rang up $1. So here is the barcode if you want to try to scan that for yourself. And then these, which I got like six or seven of these. I got all that they had for a dollar. And then these blue ones, um, which one side is solid blue and the other side, it's really hard to tell, but they have little white daisies all over it. Um, and this is what that extension part looks like. <clears throat> they were originally $6.92. But when I scanned them with my phone, it said item not available. It didn't have a price. So I thought, you know what, it's okay. I'll go to the cash register because usually items that say that on my app, once I scan them, it pops up with the cost. And um, it's usually very affordable is my, you know, is, is my experience with that. Well, these ones at the register, I scanned them and again, it popped up. Item not found, please contact associate. So she came over to help me and she was a little confused um, and was going to charge me this, you know, $6.92. And I said, oh, I don't want them at $7. And she kind of was very confused. And I was like, well, they were in the clearance section. And she said, do you have anything else? And I'm like, well, these were there, but they rang up a dollar and they're obviously different. And she was like, you know what, just scan two of these extra, so twice more, and throw these in your cart. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do. Like, if her boss would have said that's okay, but that's what, what she told me to do, so that's what I did. So I got these for a dollar as well. And that's all the stuff that I found in the jewelry section. Um, this, These next things, they actually were on an end cap, like not the end cap, but like on the side, I guess, hanging on the side um, near the toy section. And I saw them during Christmas, oops, bumped the table, and I scanned them and they came up $3, which is a little pricey to me for what it is. So I waited and I scanned it again today and it was just a dollar. So that's not Christmas clearance and they're not Christmas items but somehow they are on sale. Um, here is what I'm talking about. This one is the set called Sea Magic, and this one is the set called Game On. So I will open them and show them. They are erasers. Here's the cute set, and it does have a top. There is no clasping mechanism on the, the box, so I'll have to get creative with what I do with the box once the erasers are gone. But in the um, Sea Magic set, there is this cute penguin. So cute. Um, a little puffer fish with a unicorn horn. A octopus with a unicorn horn. A seashell. Yeah. <clears throat> a seashell, which I think maybe the seashell is my favorite. I don't know why. And the narwhal. So adorable with cute little heart cheeks. He's so cute. Um, and I got this for one dollar. One dollar. They don't want to go back in the box, but that's okay. Moving on. The Game On set also has that clear box um, that I'll have to figure out what to do. But it has a lot more of the erasers. There is a roller skate, um, a catcher's mitt with it, which is a uh, pencil topper eraser, and the ball that goes with it. Cute. A big baseball, a basketball. A football, a soccer, which needs a little love. It just kind of has some extra rubber on. There we go. So there is the soccer ball. And I guess 
and you need an announcer with a microphone. So they are those puzzle erasers, um, but I think that is a great set for one dollar. And then um, I did pick up some Valentines because I know they're going to go on sale, and there will be some left over that we'll get to use. Um, they did have a lot of the lenticulars that were like puppies and kitties. They also had some lenticular superhero girls that I wanted. I saw some Batman Valentines. Um, and then even the like Walmart branded ones that have little toys in them. Those were already going fast. They were already getting picked through. And it is not even February yet. So if you see a Valentine thing that you want, like specifically for a box and not just as um to go into pencil fillers or to go in as like extra hidden little little gems in your boxes if you have something you specifically want for a specific box it's my advice that you bite the bullet and pay full price so that you can ensure that you have it because we don't know we don't know what's going to happen with clearance this year in valentine's day um so the two that i did get that i knew that i wanted are both star wars valentine's this one is a um, Star Wars The Mandalorian themed. It does have Baby Yoda or Grogu. There are 16 Valentines and 16 um, magnets. And so the magnets is really what I was after. Um, this is what the magnet looks like. It's probably an inch and a half in diameter. Uh, it's a really great quality. We already took one out, and Matt is going to keep one. Um, but a cute little magnet. Um, I'm doing several Star Wars boxes this year because we love Star Wars. Our babies are named after Star Wars. Fur babies, animals, pets. Um, here are the Valentines that go with that. And there's a little section here where I can put the, um, the magnet into the Valentine. And the backs of these are really cute, actually. They're in color, and they have the to and from section here. And then it also <clears throat> came with a sheet of Red Heart stickers. So all of this will be very usable in my boxes. Um, and I went ahead and picked it up for full price at $2.98. But for 16 cute magnets, I'm, I am okay with that knowing what I'm getting. Um, and then the other Star Wars one we got is just regular Star Wars, um, like the original, um, movies, the full length movies. And this one is the TV show. Same characters, same idea, just it has a different focus. And these, there are also, again, 16, but they come with pencils. I did pay, again, the original two ninety eight. dollars Um these are this is what the um, valentines look like so it's more of the classical characters instead of the tv characters and this is what the back the to and from it is a black and white um there are not the, the heart stickers are not included in this one but you do get 16 of these pencils which are really cool um, and you know, I haven't seen Star Wars pencils a lot, so I wanted to go ahead and get them for my boxes. Um, they have, it says Star Wars, and there's like the Millennium Falcon, and the Rebel symbols, and there's a, I think that's a TIE Fighter, or a Y-Wing, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to get these pencils for my box. Uh, all my Star Wars boxes, so I went ahead and paid three dollars for them because you know if if you want something specific, you will pay pay up for it. And it is my advice that if you know of something in the Valentine section that you want, to go ahead and pay full price for it because um, we don't know what clearance is going to do. And the last thing in my haul today are these Reach toothbrushes. Um, these are common to see. Uh, you can get them at Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five. You can get them at Dollar General, I believe, for a dollar, and they are ninety-seven cents at Walmart. And in my Walmart's, they are in the travel section. 
um, not with the other toothbrushes, but with the travel sized um, shampoos and conditioners, etc. So I did this one last because I wanted to ask you guys what you would think. I'm considering doing a little segment, kind of like a this or that, comparing different items for um, that are roughly the same price. You know, like compare a set of toothbrushes from Walmart to a set of toothbrushes from um, Dollar Tree because those tend to be two of the places that we can both we can. The most of us can frequent those two places. Um, I might throw in some things from Daiso because it's my favorite or maybe some items from Michaels comparing them to items from Dollar Tree. I just, I kind of wanted to know what you would think if I did segments like that, comparing my experiences with quality and quantity and price. Um, so let me know in the comments below two things. I really need to know if you want me to do that this or that series and I really need to know what to do with this jewelry. If I need to leave these cute charms on or um, take them off and save them for a rainy day. So let me know in the comments below um, those two things. And in case no one has told you, I love you lots. Bye.